I feel like the first word that comes to mind is bold. Compassion for people and the get up and go power that she has. Uh, an inspiration that you can see that she has, that she conveys. Uh, charismatic, very special, uh, big heart. Feisty, feisty, yes, feisty, yeah, yeah, yeah. That sums up everything. <laughs> Dr. Filani has a level of grit and resilience and optimism all mixed into one that I've never seen in anybody. And I think it's the optimism with the grit that makes her so successful at what she does. One thing that I admired about um, Dr. Filani is her straightforwardness. And sometimes that is not, you know, the most sugar-coated process. So I really did admire her, um, her focus and her drive and her willingness to, to kind of demand more of us, both in terms of critical thinking and also emotionally. She literally always asks you, like, how are you doing? How's your mom? How's the family? So being so close with someone that, that's that powerful, it's like, she genuinely cares about you, so it's amazing. She's really friendly, and you just have to bring out back that same energy that she's giving you. You have to give it back out. All I can say is that you know when I've worked with her, she's a, she's a genuine person, and what she does is just truly uh, amazing. She teaches us how to be able to become independent thinkers as well as independent doers and believers. She, she's seen some pretty rough stuff, you know, uh, me being a young kid from the South Bronx. So I got that she cared. You know that look. <laughs> uh, one of the things that I believe as an educator is that part of what it means to learn, to, to learn how to learn, to be a real learner, is that you have to have a sophistication about the world. You have to be worldly in ways mm -hmm. that a lot of our kids aren't. It's a big deal for, for a young 13-year-old or 14-year-old from Far Rockaway or from a poor place in Brooklyn or the Bronx to sit down and have a conversation with someone who works on Wall Street. She brings together the privileged wealthy people who, who are on the All-Stars board, who contribute to the All-Stars, who are business leaders, to see that and to, to build a relationship between the poor young people and the privileged. To me, Dr. Filani is the embodiment of that. She kind of first puts it on the table to say, this is what we are all working with, and that we also have a way to interact with it and actually make it better by connecting the community. And one of the things that Dr. Filani stresses is you have to be in a, a solid community of people that care about you, of people that can teach you things, of people that can expose you to a new world outside of just like she likes to say the six blocks radius of your life. And that's quite a, a really uh, profound relationship and it's very enriching for both. I want to thank uh, Dr. Filani for her vision in putting this program together. Operation Conversation Cops and Kids is another way. We're looking to promote partnership, to promote understanding and strong police community relations and ultimately a safer city. She knew that something had to be done. She didn't even quite know what she wanted to do, but she was already out in front of it saying, we know that our development through performance works. We know that if we connect the NYPD and our young people, good things are gonna happen. It opened my eyes to work with the youth, especially when you work in the neighborhood I work in with the kids and we're sitting in a circle and then she's like, okay, we're all gonna stand up and start clapping hands. And I said, this is a little weird. You know, I, I did it so many times with her, it was just like, okay, now this is like really engaging to actually, you know, break the, the difference between the cop and the youth. Dr. Filani kind of like breaks their guard down and makes everyone equal and making them look silly so that they can see other people as human beings. She cared about fixing that dynamic, that stereotype, uh, just being that change. So she's taking the outside world and she's taking the professional world and she's bringing it together as a conversation to get that end result. And that end result is, again, how you respond, how you interact, 
and being compassionate to the people that you're policing. If you stand beside her and just experience what happens, you would be deeply impacted and deeply moved by the response. Dr. Filani is one of those very rare leaders who is selfless. To make people help think for themselves instead of having people dictate to them. That's what I love about her. My relationship with Dr. Filani um, has allowed me to grow in the way that I feel like I'm more invested in the community in which I belong to. I feel like I actually thought about myself differently and other kids because she showed that poverty doesn't make you. You might be born into that circumstance, but then you could always find your way out. Dr. Filani's contribution is, is the issue of the need for development for all of those things, for the right to vote, education, etc., but also for human development for everyone, for poor people, for the privileged, and for people to come together and build bridges. And, and that is such a profound contribution. Um, Dr. Lenore Filani, you are incredible. The way that you have been able to instill confidence and motivation and self-determination in people who look like me is one of a kind. What you did for us and millions of other kids, and even in the future, what other kids are gonna experience, you made it possible for us to see that all of us could succeed in life. All of us could have our own creative way of being who we want to be in life. Dr. Filani, we honor you, we love you, and we could not be more excited. You are the world to me. You mean everything to me. You have been um, the mother that everyone wants. If we had like a million more Dr. Filanis in the world, the world would be a better place. I just want to say thank you for the time that you've taken to talk to so many people throughout the years. And um, I wish you very well and, and, and your life while you're here with us. And we're grateful to have come across your past. I want to say how much it has meant to all of us to have your leadership in the world. Thank you, Lenora. We love you deeply.